We're here at the AFCO Collegiate Open at Dardanelle. All right, now the lake, for us at least, is fishing kind of tough. Some of our teammates are finding some fish, but uh, I think it'll be a fun tournament. It's time for the second stop of the season on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. For two days, 350 talented college anglers will put their skills to the test out on a beautiful Lake Dardanelle. The bass are really focused around bait this time of year, so we're trying to find that anywhere we can. I feel like if you find the shad, you'll find them. And if you find one or two, you'll have 20 pounds in a heartbeat. I think there will be a few pretty good sacks way down. Go. Yep. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, baby! Let's go! Hey, Mom. 1738, you're in second place. 1568, that's got you in third place, guys. Awesome. 1785, new leaders. The weather conditions are changing, fish are biting, and 1,000 School of the Year points are on the line. Stay tuned to see how things unfold here on day one of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Suey! New Big Bass of the Tournament Month. There's your chance, you got that, folks. Welcome in to another episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. This week, we're in Russellville, Arkansas at Lake Dardanelle for the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. Fall fishing conditions are here in full effect, and these anglers are targeting just one thing, shad. Yeah, you know, we're really focusing on, on a, lot of, a lot of shad. You know, I think the, the bass are really focused around bait this time of year, so we're trying to find that uh, anywhere we can. You know, it seems like shad patterns, um, so white, you know, and throwing like uh, sexy shad, all white. That kind of seems like what we're getting the best bites on. I feel like if you find the shad, you'll find them. And if you find one or two, you'll have 20 pounds in a heartbeat. Last year marked the first time this event was fished in the fall. Conditions were hit or miss for a majority of the field. But once a team found some fish, they could get a lot of bites in a hurry. This year seems to be setting up in a very similar fashion, as many of the competitors are prepared to junk fish their way to a five bass limit on day one. Moving baits, chatter yeah. baits, spinner baits. Shad imitations for the most part. We haven't had too amazing of a practice so far, so we're just kind of going to go junk fishing and see what we can scrap together. Along with the many prizes and incentives available for anglers competing this weekend, very valuable School of the Year points will be handed out to teams finishing inside of the top 100. On the eve of the event, schools are focused on this prestigious race. Yeah, we're, we're sitting in, in six for School of the Year. Montevallo boys have been hammering down, doing, doing great. Proud of all, all the team members. We're sitting in seventh right now. We really, really need to do good in this tournament to move on up. You know, moving in the top 10 is kind of a big milestone for us, being a smaller school, and we're trying to, to work our way up and build our program, so. I mean, our attitude toward this tournament is the same as any other tournament. We're, you know, we're, we're here to put as many boats as high as we can. Um, and you know, that's, that's why we're leading school here right now. Entering the second ACA event of the year, Adrian College leads second place McKendree University by just over 500 points. Then, roughly 700 points out of first sits Murray State University. Eight of the top 10 teams in the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia are on hand for this weekend's event. We'll provide more coverage of the School of the Year race as the weekend moves along. Here on the first morning of the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open, teams are filing through the state park and launching out onto Lake Dardanelle. Anglers are filled with nerves and cautious optimism as they get ready for the tournament to begin. I'm gonna go out and just hope for five bites and hopefully they're about four or five pounders. So our game plan is just fish whatever looks good. We have some areas that have potential and we're just gonna fish the good stuff in them. I think if we can get a limit early and then just kind of try to capitalize on some bigger bites during the day, I think we'll be all right. Here's a quick look at the format for the event as anglers make their way out to their starting spots. Teams are allowed to bring in their best five fish each day. First flight is due back in at 3 p.m. and the highest two-day total weight wins. It's been kind of slow. We was hoping we'd pick one up down through here with a buzz bait or something, but we're about to go to 
where we've seen some schoolers in practice. And so hopefully we can pick up a couple there. We start our on the water coverage with Rudy Worley and John David Nowlin from Blue Mountain College. The defending champions of this event are off to a slow start, but are hoping a change in spots will warrant a few bites. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. No. He won't keep it. That fish comes up a little short, but it gets the skunk out of the boat early here on day one. Changing conditions are making things tough, but Rudy and John David are confident they can get the five right bites. Last year, we just found a little magical spot that, you know, they were schooled up on and it was just every cast, really. And, but this year they're making us work for it. And it's, I think we can catch five, but it's gonna be a grind throughout the day. Okay. He's gonna be close. Yep, number one. Finally, number one. And with that, the first keeper of the day. It's now time for our first break in the action. Though things are off to a slow start this morning, the bite promises to pick up as the day progresses. Stay tuned for more. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang! We should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. There he is. Oh, I got him. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Number one for me, number two for the boat. <laughs> Welcome back out to Lake Dardanelle for day one of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. Representing the second place team for School of the Year, McKendry University, Tyler Christie and Trey Schroeder just voted their second keeper of the day. Right now we're just going down a grass line and uh, honestly just blind flipping into it. We're just trying to buy a couple bites and happen to put it up, happen to put it on one's head right there. So it all works out, I guess. Yeah, baby! You're an animal! Let's go! Hey, Mom! <laughs> Let's go. I got it. Get back in there. <laughs> I remember it three, this baby, time. Right there. Number three. Continuing to flip grass is paying off for this McKendry team. That fish marks their third keeper of the day, pushing their total weight up around eight pounds. We're still flipping some grass here. Uh, we just caught another good fish. I've only had two or three bites this morning mm -hmm. and we've been fortunate enough to fish clean so far so we're just going to keep rolling the ball and hope we can catch luck into three more good ones and call up a little bit. It's been a grind. There's, the bites have been far between but for sure. they've been better today, that's for sure. From the second place team, we move now to the leaders in the School of the Year race. Adrian College sent three teams down from Michigan to compete here in Arkansas this week. They know the other teams are hot on their heels and that the margin for error is very slim. I mean, the goal obviously is, is to try and win the event, but um, we're just trying to, trying to keep our lead in School of the Year um, because we know a lot of the uh, other schools are gonna make up a lot of points in this event, so we really can't afford um, 
we, we really can't afford to kind of like let that happen. So we need to kind of shrink that gap of the points they're going to gain on us at, at this event. We're just trying to get uh, you know, two of our three boats in the top 50 or so. And I think that's going to set us up uh, really, really good for uh, getting points out of this event. It's going to be close. Guess another one. Number two, little butterball. That bass marks their second keeper and is very valuable in regards to the School of the Year race. Knowing that each added ounce equates to more points, these anglers are doing some numbers crunching as to how much weight they may need to win this event and earn 1,000 points. Between the two days, I think we're going to see right around 30 pounds. I think it's last year it took 27, 28 or something like that. Yeah. I think they're biting better than they were last year. Um, the conditions kind of make it a little screwy, but um, I think someone's going to come up with a big bag on day one, and then second day they're going to stumble a little bit, but still going to be enough. The full field is out here grinding today as they work to fill out a limit. Five solid keeper fish is the goal for any tournament angler. As was mentioned in the pre-tournament interviews, if you can find a concentration of fish, it's probably a good idea to stay in that area and load the boat with bass. It's been tough for the most part. I only got two fish, but uh, I got one pretty good one. We're hoping that this little drainage pipe right here, it's basically what we're fishing. Um, every now and then water will come pumping out of that pipe and it's under the water. And uh, we caught fish off of this last year and uh, caught both of our fish today off of this thing, so we're pretty much just banking on this little pipe right here to turn on and maybe we'll be able to get a limit off of it. Getting a limit would go a long way in boosting their confidence as well as helping their team standing in the School of the Year race. The University of Montevallo enters the second ACA event of the year in sixth place overall. Their strong start can be attributed to the great team chemistry and overall mindset of the anglers. That's what I'm so excited about is sometimes you, you get you get some uh, some people that just aren't aren't as serious about it as some other people, but I can I can really say that everybody on our team this year is 100% all in on tournament bass fishing. They they care about where they finish. They care about how other members on the team finish and. Um, it's really what you need is just people who are serious. Yeah, Adam. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's a good one. Kind of feels like a white bass. White bass? Yeah. Story of our lives. <laughs> it's the third one we caught of those today. But, it means there's probably some bait in the area, so just keep plugging away. After the break, that fish catching continues. Can someone manage to land a real game changer? Find out next. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z Series. Unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. At the pinnacle of super high output, four stroke outboard performance, you'll find Yamaha VMAX SHO. Yamaha's game changing SHO technology. From exhilarating V6 models to the sleek inline fours, there's a VMAX SHO for everything from bass to bonefish. It's an extended family of four strokes, engineered for lightweight, inspiring performance, and rock solid reliability. Discover VMAX SHO and elevate your expectations. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Boat US. We're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. AFCO. Any fish, any water. And by 
Russellville, Arkansas Tourism and Visitor Center. Welcome back to day one coverage of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open. Only a few hours remain before anglers have to make their way back to the state park for check-in. We go out now to Isaac Duncan and Taylor Owens from Blue Mountain College. They have four keepers and feel at home here on this Arkansas River impoundment. We both felt really good coming into this tournament because during practice we talked about it and it both reminded us a bunch of home. Um, I'm from South Mississippi and uh, fishing Ross Barnett Reservoir and a lot of oxbows around home so sets up a lot like what I'm grew up fishing. Um, she's from Dothan, Alabama. Got one. Good one. Yep. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Let's go. Number five. Number five. That marks the first completed five fish limit that's been reported today. Five fish will go a long ways in helping a team position for day two, as well as earn valuable School of the Year points. Let's check in now with several other teams high up in the School of the Year race to see how their days are going. Today's really been a grind. Uh, we started out this morning throwing the rattle trap off flats, uh, trying to target fish in the grass. But we went in there, we fished it all morning, could not get bit. So we we started coming out here. I got a few good bites here and practice and decided we'd come give it a try. If this doesn't work out, we're gonna go back to our original pattern and give it a try and see what we can do. We really need to play some good in this tournament for school of the year. We'd like to move up. We wanna be at school of the year, but it's really gonna be a grind to finish well with the way these fish are biting. We have a, we have a couple teams that I think can do all right, hopefully today, and hopefully they're catching fish, but. We all need to finish pretty solid to move on up, keep on moving up. We ain't, we ain't got much to update. That's, that's, that's the update. Uh, I don't know, like, like I said earlier, we we um pretty much banking on this spot to turn on. It's, this spot has been kind of weird. It's, it's so shallow, so you wouldn't think fish would, like I don't know where the fish are coming from if they just pull up on this thing at random times or if they're sitting down there, I, I couldn't tell you, but um, it's happened several times last year and this year where we sit here and make the same cast for about an hour, and whenever we think about leaving, we catch one. So it's kind of like you just, it's, gotta, it's a waiting game. You just got to keep casting in there, and when one's ready to bite, he'll bite. So it's been pretty tough so far. We only got three in the box right now and kind of crunched for time now, so trying to Maybe get one or two more, so that's all we need. It's 2.50 right now, we're checking at 3.30, so we're, we're sitting in Darnell Bay, it's pretty close to the ramp. We caught a keeper in here in practice, and so we're just gonna uh, just keep running bank, see if we can uh, catch two old keepers to finish out the day. For the anglers from Drury University, this event is especially important to them. Entering in eighth place for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. This marks their highest ranking in school history. It means a whole lot because our coach has actually been looking to get our, our team into the top 10 for the past couple of years now. To finally do it and be in position to, to make that top 10 cut is pretty cool. Uh, it'd really be a dream come true. That'd be, uh, that'd be a crazy accomplishment for our program. So. Um, you know, that means that every single tournament, you know, we, we usually can't take a whole lot of votes. So, um, you know, like five and six is our max. So to win team of the year means we would have to have, you know, an amazing tournament every tournament we go to. So to have a season like that would be pretty cool. Coming up after the break, we head into weigh-in to see how college fishing's best anglers fared out on the water. And before that, we'll introduce you to the host city of Russellville, Arkansas, and Lake Dardanelle. Don't go away. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24 7. Visit boatus.com. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. 
These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent feed. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original power bait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage-inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Power Bait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Powerpole Shallow Water Anchor. Swift, silent, secure. Denali Rods. Experience the Denali Advantage. And by G-Juice Live Well Treatment and Fish Care Formula. It's a uh, pretty river fishery. The playing field for this week's event is Lake Dardanelle, located in central Arkansas. For many years now, the ACA has been bringing college anglers to the area to compete on one of the best fisheries in the nation. Lake Dardanelle is a 34,000 acre reservoir. Uh, it's, a, it's really, fish is more like a river system. It's got the Arkansas River going right through it. It was just uh, voted a top 15 fishery in the central region area of the United States. This portion of the state offers some beautiful scenery. Situated along the Arkansas River, nestled between rolling peaks and valleys, Russellville, Arkansas is a true gem. Real unique uh, community that's located in between the Ozark National Forest and the Ouachita National Forest, so it's a sportsman's paradise. And if getting outdoors isn't your style, the downtown area has plenty to offer. From shops to festivals and even great restaurants, Russellville is a great host for this prestigious event. 1378, 1378, 1497, 1497, 1568. That's got you in third place, guys. Awesome. How about 1290? 1290. That's got y'all up in the top. Way to go. Good job for y'all. Back at the way in sight at Lake Dardanelle State Park. Plenty of quality fish are being weighed in. Last year's runner-up, Sneed State Community College, makes their way up now, looking to avenge that second place finish. Looks like they're gonna take over the lead today. How about a good strong lead? 1785, new leaders. Garrett Warren and John Owen set the bar high with 17.85 pounds. That is by far the best bag of the day to this point. We started off on our best stretch and it got pretty much the best stretch from practice and it got too muddied out and we just kept fishing down the bank and started getting a little bit more clear water and we were both like, dang dude, it's about to happen. And we called those three of our biggest fish and we went from there. Coming to the scales next is another team looking to challenge for that top spot. Georgetown, Hunter and Jacob. All right, now we're gonna set the bar where it needs to be. Have you got at least 1785? We don't, we got 1738. 1738, you're in second place. Hunter Osborne and Jacob Locke bring in a five bass limit totaling 17.38 pounds. That lands the team from Georgetown College in second place at the moment. We started out in the back of the creek, but the uh, water had cooled down significantly. So the fish had moved out, so we tracked them back out, found them again, started catching them. Yeah, I mean, this field we're fishing, we're fishing against people all over the country, you know, a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different ways they fish. And I mean, we're fishing against, like I said, some of the top kids in the country. It's a real honor to be able to fish with them and be able to perform so good today. And here's a look at the top 10 following day one. Garrett Warren and John Owens from Sneed State Community College are in first. Hunter Osborne and Jacob Locke from Georgetown College trail close behind in second and Copeland Rosser and Cade Holcomb from the University of Montevallo complete the top three. McKendry University has a strong showing on day one as they place three teams inside the top ten. We're looking forward to tomorrow. We saved our best area, which set up good for the conditions that we're going to have tomorrow. We saved that for tomorrow. I think uh, tomorrow we're probably going to try a little bit something different and see if we can't catch an even bigger bag. On the next episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we bring you day two coverage from the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Reel down to the water until it's rip and drag.
I got my power pole down Stuck in the mud in the bottom of the lake Sitting so still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down don't know their names yet, but you will. You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube. But I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of baits. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on angle coolers who have, for over 50 years, kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Western anglers have been keeping a secret from the rest of the country for over a decade. People have caught on, and we can't keep it a secret any longer. They've been using Stupid Tubes by Secret Lures. Stupid Tubes brought a lot of money into my pocket, opened my eyes, and allowed me to compete all over the country. And now, to give back to our customers and give anglers a leg up on the competition, we're rolling out our classic Stupid Tube Kit. This kit includes three of our most popular colors of Stupid Tubes, along with jig heads in our two most popular sizes, rigging instructions, and a bonus decal. I made the Indiana Bass Nation State team two years in a row off of the Stupid Tube. Whether you're competing in tournaments or just enjoying a relaxing weekend on the water, this kit is all you need to guarantee putting lots of fish in your boat. My confidence in the Stupid Tube comes from the sheer number of bites that you get with it. Get in on the secret to success and order your classic Stupid Tube kit today at secretlures.com. Probably one of the number one questions I get, you know, what line do I use? That's a big debate. For every tour out there, everybody's debating which line. I choose the simple side. My choice of line is Sunline. And my favorite lines to use is Sunline. How all can you use it? Anywhere you want to. Anywhere there's water and bass, it's good. Walleye, catfish, trout. Trout, sharks. There we go. Uh, I don't say this unless I think it's true, but honestly, it's the best in the market. Combining the best of old world craftsmanship with state-of-the-art technologies to bring fishermen everywhere a fishing rod that's feather light, extremely sensitive, yet remarkably durable for any fishing condition or situation. Nolly Rods, tournament tested and tournament tough. Approximately 30,000 cases of Lyme disease happen each year in the United States. The main culprit, ticks. Stop and kill ticks in the outdoors with Sawyer's permethrin insect repellents. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. <laughs> 